Come hear the words of the Most High God of Israel, calling all Israelites, so-called blacks, so-called natives, so-called Hispanics, Dominicans. Well, sir, I got a question for you. How can you prove that blacks are the, the blacks that the blacks are are the children of Israel, one of the tribes of Israel? How can you prove that? Chapter Deuteronomy 28. Get chapter uh, Bring it out. Deuteronomy. Bring it out. Hey, we live. Huh? So this is what it's going to go out. For everybody there to learn the history of who the blacks are. We finna, I'm going to ask questions and we're going to prove everything that I ask is going to come straight from the scriptures itself. So hopefully I get this edification and wake up because it's the last days. Ain't no turning back. It's an eternity coming. We're going to find out which way you want to go. Life or death. We're going to go straight to the last verse in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Jerusalem. You shall not see Jerusalem, your land, no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men for bond men and bond women. That slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, mean no man shall redeem you. And that day redeem was used for the word, the word by was used as redeem. Well, I have a question. What's up, bro? Come on down, come on down. No other people on earth fit that description but the children of Israel. Right, so my question is, uh, in that scripture it said the word Egypt. What are, Egypt is, is, Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Bondage. And uh, it's called the house of bondage. Well, well, you're saying that, sir, but can you can you prove that? Do the Bible says that? Is it, is it proven in the Bible the that Egypt means bondage? That was the house of bondage. Exodus 22. Exodus 20 and 2, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Hey, where you going, my brother? You ever heard of uh, the Bible? You ever read the Bible? Uh, if I gave you something, you take it home and take it out and read it? Did you know, uh, you know anything about the Bible? Help the brother out. Wake so him up. No, we're not black. Wake him up. Wake him up. So neither are we African American. Right? This is how African got to be. You got right here. Neo Scipio Africanus. Right? He defeated Hannibal in the second King of Boris. If you look up King of Boris, it's a war for the people taking over the country. Hey, right? yeah, you want to take over? And then, uh, you got Exodus, uh, Exodus 20 and 2. You going to take over with answering the questions? Or do you want to, man, so we're not you want to ask the questions? Uh, well, I mean, we're how you want to do it? That, that, that uh, question is, who are we? And, uh, you asked earlier, what, what was the house of bondage? Well, Egypt, Egypt, what did the word Egypt mean? Uh, what, uh, the word Egypt means, it's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. House of bondage. So, so go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 5 and 6 said the same exact thing. 
Exodus 20 and 2 or Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Either one. Yep. It's saying the same thing. You can't get around it. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Exodus 20. Alright, let's get to teaching. We gotta get to teaching. We look similar to them. Now show him again. Oh, he's here. One more time for the brother. Alright, can you speak up? I'm trying to get this for edification because people don't want to know. for the brother, Deuteronomy 28. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. And so what he was just reading in the other one, how Egypt is synonymous with bondage, right? In the book he was just reading, he was saying Egypt is called the house of bondage. So that's why he said, I will send you into Egypt again. I will send you into bondage again, right? The Most High was talking to you. Yeah, and Moses was giving a message to the children of Israel. You, right? And that's how you know, because we, you know, we the only one that went back right, in now the go to, go to Amos. So, go to Amos. Oh, you got a question? Speak up, brother. I can't hear you. What people would class the when they were considered out in Egypt? Today, the people that went into slavery were uh, ships. Egyptian masters. I know that's us, but the masters. Who are uh, oppressed? Yeah. Who are oppressed? Uh, oppressors. Who are they, who are they considered today, right? Yeah. Today? They're the, same, they're the same folks. Yeah. The same people. They over there in the <laughs> Egyptians right now. Oh, Nipsey Hussle was the Egyptian. Oh, yeah, his Remember father is from that lineage. That supposed to have been dying? Supposedly? Supposedly oh, got sad. Nobody did. I don't, did. <laughs> I don't know if that's real. I know I saw a hologram. I know, man. I'm just messing with I'm you. I'm just saying, man. I saw a hologram on the so-called tape. Right. So, he's in the gym. Yeah, yeah, give him a water. Come on, brother. Let's get it for you. Come on, get the word. This is important for you. This is going to help you. This is going to help you out big time. Knowing who you are and then knowing what to do. Sorry right. about that. Next thing, we got a bunch of laws that we have to keep in order to come back to the Most High God who delivered us out of Egypt. So first, you understand you're Israelite now, right? According to that scripture. There's some more scriptures in there that describes it also. Yoga, uh, iron around out there, right? All right, so next thing we got to do with laws. You know what the day is? The day is what? Saturday? Which day of the week is? Thursday. Today is Saturday. Which day of the week is Saturday? Today's Today Saturday, bro. Today is Saturday. Yeah, we did serious. Today is the Sabbath day. Seventh. That's why we out here. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You lost some days. You got to come back to the most high before it's too late. Pull it up. I mean, you need to see it. There you go. Yeah. There you go, right here. We ain't here to lie to you, brother. You, can you guys let me out? I'm trying to get your bus to get a pipe onto my parents' house. Saturday the night. They are really ignorant. He's supposed to be a pastor. He ain't teaching well, you. You got a pastor right shit. here. He you show right. Yeah. You got the real yeah. teachers of the Most High right here. Yep, right here in your face. Today is the night. It's the last day on this slide. It's actually the last day of the week. Right. Sunday is the first day of the week. Today's Saturday, bro. On, it's the Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Yeah, you've lost a couple of days. You got to get back on track. I'm trying. Yeah, I know. But I'm trying not the more you listen to us right quick, the more you're going to get the understanding of why we, we're trying to tell you it's so important for you to learn who you are. That way you can start coming back to the Most High and get back into keeping the law, statute, commandments. That way you can get life. Because okay. this is not life, how you're living right now. How we living right now. We're not, this is not normal. Read about the Sabbath. How did everything going? You right? Yeah. This is not normal. The reason the reason we're having problems is because we don't do the laws. When we don't do the laws, then and we're not following we, spirit. We bring yep. the wrath of God upon us. That's why it's virus is out. That's why we found it. So I'm read you about the seven. It's the book of Exodus, chapter thirty-one and verse twelve. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 
Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbath sh ye shall keep. Now this is Moses talking to who? The children of Israel. The children of Israel, okay. For it is a sign That's you. between me and you yes. throughout your generation. Israel. Yeah. That's what we're trying to that's what we're trying to tell you. According in the Bible, you don't have black people a name of people named black or people named white. You don't find them type of names in the Bible. You find Jacob, you have the Israelites, you got Moabites, you have the nations of the Bible, biblical names. Our names got changed, right? When we came over here on slave ships. You know, our forefathers, they came over here on slave ships. You do understand that black people came on slave ships because they don't even try to teach that no more. The reason, yeah, we came from the west coast of Africa. We got to this land, America, right? There's the water, that the sea, the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. Right, right, right. Leo Africanus. Yeah, that shows that he's listening. Right. So, they took our names, which is why we call black, which is why we call African American. You know what I'm saying? That's two different continents. Black is a color. Your real name in the Bible, you are the Israelites. You are the descendants of people that God said, let my people go from Egypt. That's you today. Now, other names are called Proverbs and Bywords. Right? Fuck. African Americans are pro a Bywords. That's a proverb. It's not who you are. These are names that they made up and gave us. Thank you. Go ahead. So you, you know where you're at now? The so brother had to make sure you understood you are Israelite. No, All right, now let's go. You a god on earth. Yeah. I'm not yeah, you are. <laughs> that ye oh, may friend. know that I am the Lord that does sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely right. be put to death. Now hold up right there. Do you, you feel the most high? Wait. Do you feel the most high? Hold that last verse. Are you scared of God? Do you fear him? You, if you believe that he say he gonna do something to you, he'll, he'll do it. He'll man of his word. But he say gonna come to pass, right? And read what's gonna happen if you don't keep the Sabbath. But whosoever doeth any work therein. See that? Listen. But whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Shall be cut off from Israel. You profane the Sabbath. Keep going. Six days may work be done. But in the seventh is the Sabbath. Today. Of rest. It's rest. Holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. You understand that? See, so that's something to be afraid of. Right? If your dad is saying, right? When you was young and he told you to cut the grass, just say you about nine, ten years old, and they, and, they, and they gave you a chore to do, right? Would you do the chore? I ain't no chore. Exactly. Me, See, me. So he's not giving us a chore. Because I respect him. I be raised right. But well, well, what the consequences if you refuse to do what they say? Right? What did he just say? Read that again, that last part. Whosoever doeth right. like, yeah, well, do any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Now that scares me. I don't know about y'all, but I believe the Most High when he said that. Because he said he was going to put these curses on us. And also, if you right. can show him what the uh, Most High, what he looks like, al along with Christ. Right. Right. Before you guys get started, you guys have There you go. Oh, yeah. well, y'all don't have any. Wait, tell me, in scripture? Oh, yeah, he was. He needed, yeah. he's, okay. he needed to see that. Yeah, Revelation 4. Uh, Revelation 1. I, I don't know what Christ looks like. Very similar to Very similar to Here's another one right here. I like this one. I ain't even scribed. We're gonna read the scripture. Read. You got that? In Revelation. In Revelation 
So we're gonna show you what Christ looked like in the Bible because every time we see Christ, so if you type in Jesus on the computer, he always looked like a white dude with blonde like hair that. and blue eyes. See that? That's what he looked like. Yeah, the ones that replicate. Right, right. They're the ones that they replicate. This is actually a person named Cesar Borgier. What's the matter, bro? Just All right, I'm, I'm gonna get the scripture for you real quick. Revelation 4, <clears throat> Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. That's on top of your head. As white that. as snow. So you do know this. I, I know that. But what I don't understand is why, why, would, we, why, would, they, why would they come back and, and change the images? Change the image repeated. And then Mac is 348. Why would they do that? That's a good question. Why would they go and change your identity and make the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth look like them? And then on top of that, make you three-fifths of a man. And then on top of that, lynch your forefathers, lynch your kids, put you in them slavery in them crop fields from sun up to sundown. And then whenever they did release you, they set up redlining. If you was, as soon as they let us out of slavery, if you wasn't, if you didn't have a job, guess what happened? You went to jail. They put you in jail, so you still was back in slavery. That's the 13th Amendment. All this has been set up against you to keep you from knowing who you are because you're the greatest thing walking the face of the earth. You said Maccabee, what's the script? 348. We gotta, hey, you gotta pick yourself up. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta know who you are in your blood, in your, in your heritage, and who you are, your lineage. You're royalty, bro. Why they did what they did. Well, this is, uh, this is um, telling you exactly why and who did it, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Right. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. God and, got enemies. And they that hate thee mm -hmm. have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. So God enemies have got together, they made agreement. And they said, we're going to go against the hidden ones. The hidden ones is you. You don't even know who, we don't even know who we are as a people. They got together with one agreement, right? Let's keep going. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Cut them off from being a what? A nation. A what? A nation. What nation of people are we? You will say African-American. He'll say black. He'll say Negro. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know who we are. We've been cut off from being a nation. Keep going. That the name of Israel. That was our last names before. Because we descend from Israel. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob had his name changed to Israel. That's who we descend from. That the now that say again? That the name of Israel uh -huh. may be no more in remembrance. Now your last name is Brown, Timothy, and Hawkins, you know what I'm saying? Thomas, you know what I'm saying? Now we have English last names because we went against God. But keep going. But they have consulted together. I thought the slaves, that's what I thought. I thought Hold on, just real quick, keep that thought. Let's let the scriptures go and then I'm gonna get you a question. Right. For they have for they have consulted together with one consent. One agreement. That they are confederate against thee. Mm-hmm. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom. They named Edom first. Edom is the, the biblical name of the so-called white people today. Edom. Go ahead. And the Ishmaelites. <laughs> Ishmael is your Arabs today. Of Moab. Moab. It's your Chinese people today. And the Hagarines. Hagarines is an African nation. And Jabal. Another African nation. And Amman. Okay. It keeps going on. And, and Amman, that's your uh, Japanese. And then uh, Amalek. Uh, go ahead. And Amalek. Amalek is your Jewish people that took your identity. So what's your question, though? I see you about to. Yeah. But let's hear your question. One last question. Let's go. I thought it was Thursday. I don't even know how to do it. That's, I, hey. thought the, I thought the, I thought the, I mean, what, they asked me, they asked my question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Oh, yeah, brother. Watermelon. I'm trying to catch the Megan bus. Not the Megan bus, but the bus. I don't know. But, um, all right. All right. Hey, man. Look at that. Look at that, for real. When you get a chance, when you sitting down, 
and it's like, hey, what is my next thing to do? Look at that. Your life is actually, you don't understand, but you're being chosen right now. Most High is reaching out to you right now, trying to tell you who you are and why you need to repent and come back. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Two thirds of us is gonna die, bro. You need to look at that and come back to the Most High and keep the commandments. Your life depends on it. Your life depends on it. And he chose you. You wanna make it, you wanna make it. Huh? I would not? I hope so. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But I hope to see you make it. That's what we're here for. You are a brother, bro. You, hey, if you ain't keeping these commandments, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. It says, do not be deceived. Come here right quick. Let me show you this. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Last scripture, and I'm done. I'm going to show you how this is not a game. Like, we can say this all in our heart and feel like we're going to make it, but we're not doing what he told us to do. Who is he? The most, the most high. high God. The most high. The one that chose us, bro. I know. It's Yahweh. Yahweh is his name. And, and his son came and died for you. He didn't die for all the people. He died for you. And Man. All right, bro. Bid my people to the marriage. Whether they hear or forbear. Blood is not. Anyway, whether they hear or forbear. And also in Ezekiel, the blood is not on our hands. All praise to the Most High. Oh, I'm pretty sure the message was brung out and it was, hey, if you don't get it. They, they, but but like, you got to break it with a sense of urgency because he said, they, Terry not, right? Terry not. Terry not. So, put right day to day. so we cannot put off day to day what we want to do compared to what we need to be doing. Everything we do in this world is what we want to do and not what we need to do. So we need to know what we need to do. How you gonna prepare for a tornado if you don't have no warning of it? Right. You're not gonna know. You're right. just gonna be destroyed from that tornado. Right. But if you get the, if you turn on the TV and you see the, the and you hear the uh, uh, the sirens wailing, you know it's something coming. And you know how to prepare for it. But you cannot prepare for something you know not. First Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The what now? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters. So I hear. It said, be not deceived. That brother just said, I know I'm going to make it. It says what now? Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Because a lot of us, right are now, deceived. everybody that's in the Christian church, that are hearers of the word and not doers of the word, Thank it says, be not deceived. Because they say they're going to make it. Yeah, he did. He was, he's all jacked up. He's, he's all destroyed. I, I was I mean, going to say something about that, but there were so many things you had to get past just to get to that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, he's got a real darkness upon him. Neither fornicators, fornicators. nor idolaters, Idolaters. nor adulterers, nor effeminate. 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 So even if you're not even gay, abusers you saw of themselves with mankind. So even if you're not gay, as Brother Mike was saying, bring it out. You can't act like you're gay. You can't have a soft voice and all of that. That's effeminate. You can't act like that and have the uh, ladylike walk. There and you right? go. That gate. That's, that's a scripture too. A right. We can't do anything that pertaining to a woman mm -hmm. if okay. you're a man. You can't put on a woman's garments. So I mean, that's just the people don't want to hear, but that's just how it is. Tell them so lot. They don't want to tell their children that because they they sparing their kids' feelings, right? But he's going down a, a worse road than not telling him. It's going to hurt him worse later. So than not right. explaining what the most high said about a man should not lay with another man. And so we end up lost. Not knowing the laws. We err not knowing the scriptures. Right? Err not knowing the And then the, the rest of us just being stiff-necked and hard-headed. For the Lord said he knew we were stiff-necked people. He knew that we wouldn't keep these laws. Hey, sister, come over here and talk to us. So where we at, bro?
Now we was calling out some scriptures for the um, for brother, the, uh, for the brother yeah, that just left. He it off, and that was the scripture I read last 